Okay guys, boy do I have an exciting video for you today, Vibe Kanban. Now, if you don't know, Claw Code is an insanely good coding tool, but one of the problems ha that it has is that it's hard to work on a few different things at once. This is the solution to that problem. I'm going to show you exactly how you set it up right here, right now. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to use Shopify, um, my, my Shopify tool, SEO Grove as an example, right? So I'm gonna be working on this project today. If you're interested in this project, you can join the waiting list right now. It's $1 to join the waiting list. And yeah, seogrove.ai. So basically install, very, very easy, extremely easy. Obviously I have Node already. You will need Node in order to do this. I already have this installed because uh, I just previously did, um, did a video on this, uh, but it failed. You'll have to say yes to the risk thing that pops up. Just say yes, and then you'll be greeted by this right here. Basically, what you have to do is you need a Git repository path. What does that mean? It means you need to grab a GitHub repo, but it has to be on your local machine. So mkdir uh, vibe coding can ban cd vibe coding can ban. There we go. And then we'll do git clone paste and then dot. So we obviously have to select this because it's a private repo. This will um, put this on my local machine. You can double click here and copy this, right? And then click this little folder button. Search for this. You can see it says GitHub repo. Perfect. Select this. Select this path. The setup for this, right, should be on your readme. So the starting script is pip and run.py and the install script is pip install dash r requirements.txt there we go and then we create the project then we click here create first task let's actually give it a very complicated task so create content machine look at all of the current agents and how they work using gina and whatever to scrape and create a content machine which uses the client's products and collections with internal links and images inside it and post blogs that will rank for them on Google. So that is quite a complicated task. So we'll create that right here. I'm probably not gonna use this for realsies uh, because I wanna make the uh, agent for this myself a little bit but the really cool thing this is why it's so cool okay so it's using claude code you can change that by the way on settings i just selected claude here and vs code because i use vs code and you can see now it's going to start doing that but previously what you'd have to do is you you couldn't really work on anything else because if they edited the same file it's going to cause problems right but this is using work trees you can see here work tree path right so if i open this uh, I won't actually open this, but basically what this is, is it's like a branch on GitHub, kind of. So let's say you wanted to do something else at the same time, right? And this is where it starts to get really fucking crazy, guys. I'm telling you, this is an absolute game changer. So add task, create a new landing page, right? I want you to look at the front end and how it works, uh, how how... Uh, we've built landing pages with CTAs and the theme, etc. And make a page about, uh, and then I just went on keyword tool that I O, searched SEO for Shopify, and then just grabbed this keyword, right? Are Shopify tags used for SEO? Uh, the answer is indirectly, they are used as they are used to generate collections, which is what our tool does. Please make the page relevant to the tool while also giving interesting information on the answer. Please then add it to the navigation, right? So create and start again, Claude code, another task. This time it's a different work tree, right? You can see that it started the project again. So we've got one work tree here, right? If I open this, let's just open this. Okay, so opening the work tree doesn't work, but I, I, I understand how this is working, right? Maybe if I search for this here, yeah, there we go. Open file location. So these are different 
work trees of the same project. So if I open this, open with code, you'll see this is all of the code that is required for this project. And it's basically doing two different tasks at once, but it's not gonna mess up any of the code because it's doing it in two different work trees at the same time. So what this will do is it'll send this to review and then it will send it to done, I believe, if I say um, merge. What this means is it merges it into the current code. So like they, they, both, the, both the work trees go away, you code on them, and then you merge them back into the main thing. Okay, so this is actually pretty smart. Like you can see it's searching for blog stuff on the Shopify service. That doesn't exist because I haven't actually made it yet. So this is pretty smart. It, it can't find anything on blogs. So, you know, it might just do some kind of mock implementation or attempt to implement it, but I haven't actually given it all of the tools it needs to succeed. So I'm pretty impressed that it's picked up on that, but obviously it's, it's Claude code at base. So. So here we go. Now I'll create the landing page for our Shopify tags used for SEO following the established patterns. Okay, so I got a notification there saying create a new landing page has been completed. So let's click here. I actually don't know how to see this. I guess press dev server here. Okay, so I guess we can merge this into dev if it gives me the option. Nope, uh, just press merge, okay. Okay, so just to test this out, we'll go to Claude here. Uh, this is inside that same folder. So you can see this is the code here. It does include Shopify tags SEO. So when you merge something, it goes into this code here. So I'll just say start Docker so I can see my changes. Okay, so this is hopefully what, oh my God, it's terrible. It's done it, but it hasn't, it doesn't look right at all. But you can see that this is exactly how it works. So it hasn't got the look and feel right at all. I don't know what it tried to do here. Um, but yeah, overall it did one task and then while it was doing that other task, it also did another task, right? Which is creating the content machine. So yeah, guys, definitely play around with this one. It's gonna save you time. It's gonna allow you to do more things with Claude code and it's just, pretty fucking interesting to be quite honest with you. Now it's actually done a pretty decent job at looking at some of this code. Um, now it does just use Claude code. So it's basically just like being able to send 50 Claude code messages. Each one goes away and does its own thing. It tells you when it's done. It probably handles slash compacts automatically as well. And if you didn't have such a complicated thing, like I, I have re a really complicated server and stuff, you could just run dev server and just uh, get going straight away. I'll leave the video there guys. Thank you so much for watching. Check this tool out. It'll be in the uh, description of this video. Thanks for watching. And if you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend and peace out.